Hello everyone and welcome to the next in our series of daily origami for YouTube. Today we're going to continue with our theme of making some traditional origami. And today what we're going to do is make a little um, like top, spinning kind of top if you will. And uh, this particular origami you do want to use uh, six pieces of origami paper. Now um, I'm going to be making one that's you know pretty good size, like a smaller size. It's a little easier to assemble that way. Um, and the paper is one fourth the size of regular origami paper. So each of my pieces of paper is seven and a half by seven and a half centimeters. And like I said, you do need six pieces. Um, I think it works good because it's kind of like um, a cube design, maybe to use three colors if you can, or um, you know, uh, make it all a solid color, for example. Um, it, it tends to look a little cooler that way if you can keep it that way. Or I suppose if you wanted to use two and just choose one of these colors as your anchor color. Uh, that would be fine too. So, um, but this is kind of basically what you need for this project. You don't need any scissors or glue if you start off with a smaller paper. And I'll let you guys kind of know the dimensions when we're finished. Um, you're just going to be taking each of these pieces and folding it into the water bomb base. Super easy. So, uh, just to remind you guys of how to do that, we'll do that with one of these so you can kind of see how to do stuff. You want to start with your color side facing down. Just go ahead and fold your paper in half to make a nice little triangle here. Open it up and then fold in half again so that we can get our center marked off with our diagonal creases. Then with the color side facing up, go ahead and fold in half both vertically and horizontally. That will give us all the pre-creases we need to be able to smush this down into a water bomb base. Then look at it with the color side facing up. Look at it like a diamond so we get those mountain creases running across there. Just pinch on two opposite sides, push in until everything shimmies around until you can get it to a nice little triangle shape here. And then you're just going to kind of make sure you've got really good creases going both ways. And if you uh, kind of stick out the sides right, you should be able to get this nice kind of star looking shape with these four sides. Then you just want to repeat that step with the other five pieces of paper to give you all the pieces you need to make our little top. Now I've got them all made here. So you've got six pieces, two blue, two yellow, two red. Be a little easier to show you guys how to assemble it by doing it with these colors. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to start off just with the yellow and the red. And um, you do need to, you know, kind of hold on to things carefully as you do this. And it can be a little frustrating, so you want to be patient and <laughs> try your best to keep a hold of things. I'll try to show you guys the way to keep it so it doesn't all fall apart on you. We're going to just simply use these parts that stick out to slide into the pockets from underneath to kind of latch everything together. So I've got my yellow here, and you can see the bottom, and we've got those four areas of pocket. And I'm just going to slide one of these in. In, in there to keep it secure. And I'll do the same thing on this side. So we've got these two parts secured then on either side. And if you kind of pinch all of that with your fingers, hold on to that there, you can do the other side as well. You're, you want to just slide into, make sure you're sliding the red into the yellow so that both sides are the same then. So you should have the uh, yellow all on top and yellow all on bottom and when you look at it from these sides you should have four little legs two yellow and two red so we've got the that part completed and you want to just kind of hold on to it if you can with your fingers and thumbs this part can get a little scary um, but then what we're going to do is we're going to take the uh, part that we have here and I want to now place the little legs that you see here I'm going to put this right on top of the yellow parts. So these yellow legs are going to be legs and they're going to go into the blue pockets. And the reds are going to serve as pockets, not legs. So I'll slide these in as I rest this on top. So you can kind of get that first part started of sliding it in on top and then try to slide each of the blue into the pocket while you're working. And this can be tricky. <laughs> It's definitely, you know, a little hard to do at first, so try to be patient with it and let your paper kind of curl around a little as you're trying to get it in there so that you can get one side completed. With your 
blue and your red on top intersecting and you should have a solid yellow base like this kind of with the blue and red. Now I'm just going to flip it over and put that other blue piece in the same way too. Again remember we were making sure that the yellows are serving as legs and the reds are pockets. So I'm going to make sure to cover the yellow with the blue and then slide the blue into the red so that we can finish things off here. And really once you kind of get to this stage things shouldn't fall apart so easily because you should be getting stuff kind of going the way it needs to. Once you kind of get it going it's just about a question of kind of pushing from all of these corners until you can get everything to shimmy down into its place so that you can get a finished top. And you, you don't need any glue. Things stay together pretty good. If you pull on it, it will fall apart. I'll tell you that. So if you give it to a curious little child, they might destroy it in two seconds. But um, for the most part, you're not going to have any trouble with it once you get to this point. The uh, pockets all, all kind of hold each other well and keep it into place. Um, and then you've got your finished top and you can just kind of spin it and uh, get a good spin on it to make it kind of make a cool little top design. Um, and that's basically the finished project. So uh, to kind of give you guys an idea of the finished dimensions of this, let's see here, we're looking at about nine centimeters all which way I suppose. Of course, these sides are still going to, these are about five and five, and then the height, like I said, is about mm, eight ish, I guess. Eight centimeters tall and five centimeters wide and five centimeters deep, if you will. Uh, depends on which way you're looking at it, I suppose, but <laughs> that kind of gives you an idea of the finished dimensions for our little top, which is our finished project for today. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.